Welcome back to the Moonstone Matriarchy, um, a girl power campaign where sexy, strong women um, kick ass and take names. Uh, I'm Jessica, also known as I Sneeze Stars online in places like TikTok and Instagram, and I will be your shenanigan sovereign this evening. And that would, I said that a lot, like I didn't know why I was here, but it's cool. Uh, very quickly, um, I'm going to run you through the games that we have on the channel, and then we will have our recap read for us. So, Monday nights, we have the Iowan Adventures at 7.30 p.m. EST, DM'd by myself. Uh, Tuesday nights, we have State of the Union, a Shadowrun campaign, DM'd by At Cottlesworth, um, featuring Katie and myself. Katie, who is not here tonight. Uh, Thursday nights, we have the Lost Continent at 8 p.m. EST DM'd by Mr. Markham and Friday nights we have the Legends of Krylis at 11 p.m. EST a TTRPG created and GM'd by Telerius Game Master um and that's it so I know our our um what's that thing called yeah, uh, players need to introduce themselves yeah okay <laughs> cool star <laughs> hi i'm star uh i play cappy who is a hair and gone wild magic sorcerer and i am the host producer everything for the podcast characters without stories just put out a new episode today you should check it out and i'm going to pass it to our birthday girl juniper Happy birthday. hello um, i'm juniper <laughs> it is it is my birthday today, and everyone's decided to embarrass me. Um, I play here what on is Saturdays. The in the for? Right, right. Um, I play in the Moonstone Matriarchy here on Saturdays, and also the first Sunday of the month over on Ta Shattered Tabletop Games, I play in a game of Alien, and my first character just died a gruesome, horrible death, so I'm in the process of making a new character for Season 2. Um, tonight I'm playing Clover, who is a little tiny house cat tabaxi cleric. I'm going to pass to Mummy Kalik. Hi, that's me. Hi, um, I'm Mummy Kalik. I play Delphra, a winter eladrin. Um, Circle of the Fire Druid. Wow, I'll be okay, guys. Um, other than that, you can't find me anywhere. Uh, I do not want to be found. I live under my rock. Over to you, Scarlet. Hello, I'm Scarlet, and I will be playing Sin, our resident emo elf warlock. Uh, you can find me on Twitch. I run a Out of the Abyss campaign, plus various other one-shots of various other game systems. I'm on TikTok and Instagram and all that. And I'm the mother of dessert dragons, so if you would like to get some cute uh dragon stickers and prints you can find that on my etsy take it away jess take it away daniel who will be reading from delphra daniel 
Nothing could go wrong. Go ahead. Wait, sorry. Say it. Go ahead. Thank you. I love you. Sorry I interrupted you. Um. All right. You guys have, I believe we were, we left you where you guys had all just kind of reconvened in uh, Sin's bedroom. And it's the morning. You're waiting to, I guess, get picked up by uh, Commander Diana. Is there anything yeah. anyone is doing in the meantime? I, I think, like, I, I wake up covered in frost, and that's unusual. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I look to the others in the group. There's something rather strange. I, I, I'm so cold. Is anyone else? Is anyone is else feeling any... anything strange? Is the frost like visible, like, or is it just a sensation it's, that I'm feeling? You can see it. It's but as soon as you start moving around, your body starts to warm up and it starts to melt. Can I do a check, like an Arcana or a medicine check? Uh, you can do both if you like. Okay. Well, I got a seven on my Arcana. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. I got an ice get in here. I got a four on my medicine. <laughs> She's dead. Oh. She's dead. Oh, heavens <laughs> me. <laughs> what? I'm dead. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh no, she's speaking. It's undead. <laughs> the great enough about Taluda. <laughs> I am now Banicula. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, Sin has no idea what's going on. 
Anyone else want to take a guess? Yeah, um, I'd like to. Oh, Clover is a bit concerned. She's kind of take cares of every takes care of everybody. So um... <laughs> she's dead, Jim. <laughs> 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 the chat caught me today. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So if I can, um, not just look at not just look at Cappy, but also maybe like the general area to see if there's anything amiss that might explain what's going on with Cappy's frost thing. Give me investigation. Or oh, I'm not that great at that. Okay, let's try anyway. Uh, 17 investigation as the so the frost is very quickly melting away you manage to catch um a pair of tiny little footprints and then they melt what did the footprints look like were they humanoid in shape or and how big they were mm, how big are they it they were small they were very 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 small like mice footprints but they weren't mice footprints and they weren't humanoid okay kind of roundish it's a baby reindeer it's a baby reindeer <laughs> <laughs> that is the best you got as you saw them melt I just saw some really weird little tiny footprints in your frost. Do you know, does that ring a bell to you at all? <laughs> um, uh, does it? <laughs> because I don't think so. <laughs> no? You have no uh, idea why there'd be little tiny footprinty frosts around you? Uh, no. Is something crawling on is it a spider? <laughs> you immediately just like, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Do the spider dance. <laughs> Do the spider dance. Um, Rosalind will come on and inspect you and just say, I don't, I don't see anything in your fur. D did the footprints go somewhere? Or away, just away from... Ta uh, taffy um a cappy but they again it melted far too quickly to like actually see where else uh, actually you know what was a 17 you see little water prints going off a little bit before they just completely disappear Kaluva sort of has her nose down to the ground and she just follows the footprints to where they go and then just kind of sits there Oh, tapping ooh. at the footprints <laughs> you should have you should have something to do like your cat cats are decent with smell so what's a smell check what are we gonna go how do we roll smell yeah, checks i think that's perception mm. i think that's perception? perception and certain animals have advantage yeah on like perception checks made with their sense of smell or their sense of hearing which i think senses. what lions are one of them so tabaxi's aunt i don't think unfortunately i'm using but the you're not a technically a tabaxi you're you're a just, tabaxi just but you're a house aid. kitty take the take aid, the aid <laughs> i'm giving you god damn it um, okay i'm not so gonna you can add advantage to smell if you smell for stuff you can add advantage from now on to your perception oh nice Yay. thank you that's amazing we How's love our dm kitty? um thank you <laughs> you're welcome do you want to roll as you're smelling? Yes, Clover looks really adorable when she's following things with her nose, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, that is a dirty 20. <gasps> okay. So you smell. Here's what you smell as you're walking. First, that little bit of cold hits you. You know, it's that freshness. And then it smells almost minty. And then it, it kind of smells like holly and Christmas and and like the and then just just as you're getting a little bit further, you smell is that is that lizard of some sort? And then 
not the Christmas lizard. <laughs> and then the Christmas lizard is here. And then nothing. It's gone. She she just kind of sniffs around in circles for a little bit and goes, there was a lizard here and it smelled like Christmas. Is Christmas a thing in, in our world? Like it's no, a, it's so Yule. we'll go with like, <laughs> yeah, Yule. And it smelled like Yule. I don't know, guys. Yeah. I didn't think that went through. <laughs> we could come up. We could, we could it workshop smells like gingerbread. a moon. We could workshop That's like a does. moon themed winter uh, celebration. Yeah. Winter mm-hmm. celebrations are kind of like universal. It, yeah. So mm. we'll think of something. Yeah, it smells like our version of Christmas. Mm. Gingerbread like and, yeah. and and peppermint and holly, and it smells like so a really basically tasty everything lizard. Yule. I've never smelled a lizard like this. Everything Yule. We'll call it Solstice Yulestice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Love You're it. gonna break me. <laughs> this is that. what happens when you ask a DM it for a name on the spot. <laughs> you end up with Solstice Yulstice. I love Solstice, Solstice Yulstice. Yulstice. It's Yulstice, guys. Uh, Yulstice. Not even. It's I'm just Yulstice. Yulstice. I'm down for this. Okay. Yeah. That is. I'm. I'm making the note, and we are now celebrating oh. Yulstice. So oh, now you mean we, the, Yul- the Yulstice lizard? <laughs> the Yulstice lizard has come. Look, we know him as Daddy December, and he brings all the gifts. Uh, to- I'm gonna, I'm gonna pee. <laughs> Don't you dare! <laughs> the lizard. Oh my fucking god! Okay, here we go. It's, I'm writing Yulstis down right now. Yulstis. Don't forget about the lizard. <laughs> Yulstis lizard. The Yulstis lizard. I love that Luna's nights of lights. Daddy December. <laughs> he's got a little bell on and it's like collar and then he's got a bell on like the tip of his tail. <laughs> it jingles over time. Is is the most famous of the winter lizards named Screwed Off? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are doing this right now, but don't worry, it's coming back to you. <laughs> It's screwed <laughs> off the red nose lizard. <laughs> well, I, I'm loving the more, the more you like it. Don't worry, don't worry. Screwed all, screwed It kind of sounds like screwed off because he mm-hmm. went and screwed off when he should have been uh, bringing presents to all the little moonlings. <laughs> he's always, still love that he's always the drunk one who's like, oh, there in the in the eggnog. Um, where where little eggnog dragons have to beat him away from. Hey guys, I have a picture of an eggnog dragon right here. Go on, go on. <laughs> Look, it's Aww. customary to decorate it with lights and uh, garnish or garland and leave presents by it, and it makes you drunk when you hang around it too much. It's like <laughs> a drunk aura. So it's, it's now so a thing in this world. So Yay. we need a stack I'm gonna have block, to buy right? those cards. <laughs> I'll send them to you. I have, uh, if you give me permission uh, to use your information, I'll send it to you. Yeah, sure. I will make a, <laughs> I will make an encounter with it for you guys. Uh, uh yeah. You smell Christmas lizard. That actually now sounds like a dish. <laughs> is it your burnt, favorite part? Is my question. Who hmm? burnt the Christmas lizard? It's the most important. Like, is it it's not crispy? burnt. It does not yeah. smell crispy. It smells. It smells very alive. Hmm. I like the and rare. Just, we like it wriggling. <laughs> it helps with digestion. <laughs> oh god i mean i am a cat i do have that reflex to just chase anything that wriggles so um i think i think you see clover just kind of you know eyes blown wide just kind of trying to pour it where the where that where it ends um but obviously not having any success because it's the floor yeah it's just the floor you're just oh my god that's so freaking cute uh, Anemone walks over and just picks you up and, and does the exact thing that I want to do in this outfit. <laughs> I, I wriggle out doing that thing where the cat is like, no, I don't want you to hold me right now. I'm busy. 
<laughs> you get put in air jail. <laughs> I just I give up. I just I give up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Unless she puts you back down. <laughs> That's amazing. I've never heard it called that, but it like the image immediately popped in my brain and I knew what you were talking about. <laughs> uh hmm. what do you do? Well, that I don't exactly know what to do about that. It doesn't seem threatening, at least. I don't know why it would single me out. Do we know about uh, Cappy's wild magic, or is that kind of like a personal thing? Cappy? Um, I mean, you now know that I used to be an elf, and I'm now a bunny because of wild magic? Okay, so we could maybe, so then it wouldn't be like out of yeah, line. I don't, I don't think you've to seen. Like, I haven't had a wild magic uh, surge. Okay, so you then if I haven't seen, seen it, it then but... I I wouldn't jump to that conclusion. That's what Scarlet's conclusion is, but I don't think mm -hmm. Sin would think of that. But even even so, like Cappy, you since you've gotten your wild magic, something things like this have happened before. Mm -hmm. You just thought you were getting a much better control over it. Yeah. Aww. Um, but you usually there's no lizards involved. No, not normally lizards. No, but yeah. maybe one just decided to crawl over you while you were sleeping. This isn't just any lizard, though. No, it's, it's the, the it's Daddy it's December. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's screwed off. <laughs> he works for Daddy December. <laughs> is it is it Yulsta's time of year at the moment? It is now. <laughs> I feel like we're all like, oh, I forgot. I've been so I busy. forgot. Is that today? Oh, no. I still have so much shopping to do. Oh, no. <laughs> You're right. This is for you yet. Maybe we can pick something up in Tenebrosa. Yeah. <laughs> the oh. only one who doesn't, who isn't looking like, yeah, right, is uh, Lady Orion, who's like, yeah, that's a very <laughs> nice idea. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, I know, I know we probably will be given rations and stuff for the journey, but we should ask if we get like pocket money to, you know, oh. to, in case we need stuff along the way. I wonder. Yeah, like, like pictures with Daddy December at the mall. Go sit on, <laughs> on Santa's lap. Yeah, Daddy December's lamp, lamp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please His let me name. stop talking. Um, <laughs> for the love of God. Uh, <laughs> well, but like, why? Why do we need money? Like, I we 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 kind of have Rosalind. Rosalind's like, yeah, mm -hmm. you do have me. Why do you need money? Because that went over that just without. We just do it with the good people looking away. Well, that's not the spirit of Yule. It's supposed Yulstis. to be a spirit of Yule. <laughs> it's supposed to be consumerism and spending and throwing away all of your life savings for things. That's uh, what I'm, Yulstis is all about. I'm pulling a Robin Hood. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, you get a knock at the door. Uh oh. Who's coming to ruin our fun? I guess the teacher's here. Open. I'll open the door. You open the door. Towering above you is a sexy green half orc, half elf in her full armor. Okay, I... it's you. It's you. Is it Unholy. time? <laughs> I'm glad I... you're all having a good morning. Are you not, sister? You know it would be the best morning for me? Not Essence? accompanying you on this trip. Well, guess he should have taken our side and stuck up for us. And now here we are. Ladies, shall we? She's going to take her luggage and strut out right past. And strut out. She, just, she looks dead inside. <laughs> <laughs> I am the captain. I'm the commander. What is, like, 
just in her head Delphra, that's all. just <laughs> as she walks Delphra as she walks out just like pats her on the chest and she's like you'll warm up soon, you, you go Mama. to pat her on the chest on the chest like a man I- like I need you. I need you to make an attack roll because she's about to. She's about to grab your hand and almost break it off your body. Wow. Uh, I'm getting out of this room. <laughs> this is happening. Uh, I've just rolled a 19 plus whatever, so we're fine. Okay, hang on. I'm. I'm. I got to roll for her. For her. Hold on. Oh, I gotta. I gotta look for my. <laughs> you're, you're you're looking for shenanigans i'm looking for you're shenanigans. like i'm going to touch your chest uh so it's a dirty 20 dirty 20 okay uh where is she oh she's in creatures i think she's a dan she's creature. in creatures right Daniel? yes mm shadow are you sure where <laughs> and she, no she's in an encounter oh wait no unarmed unarmed strike no never mind that's a that's a 22 all right hang on there we go no why would you do this to me daniel you did not you don't touch the stuff no more okay sir I'm not that she Okay. Nope. All right. Here we go. Let's see. She's going to do an unarmed attack at you. Oh my God. Did you really? She nat one. Ah! <laughs> After and all. And I that. call her Orc Mama at the same time. Or Orc Mommy. <laughs> she quits immediately. She's like, this is not worth it. Uh no, she just follows you out, head hung. Head hung. Clover kind of sits at her feet for a moment and just looks up with her big round eyes and says, You you don't like us? You don't want to come with us? No. Ooh, is she doing the uh <laughs> puss in boots, holding the hat, the big yep. eyes? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. She looks she looks at you and just with a heart of stone. I'm a dog person. Clover <gasps> <laughs> visibly shrinks and like and slinks off to, to go. Oh is this the point? Is not to let that happen. Yeah. <laughs> is is this the point where Quartzley just like kind of pops out because it's a fox, so therefore part of the dog family and just whips his tails like across her face? I mean, you're welcome to try if you want to do that. No, I don't want to play with fire. <laughs> <laughs> Probably smart. I I already made it first past the first one. We're not gonna we're not gonna tempt fate here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you would make it past the second one. Uh, mm-hmm. she brings you guys out to the courtyard where you know there are a bunch of sacks for you all to like. Um you know, start gearing up. Okay. We're going for a walk, right? So you're going to need to have proper uh, supplies and all of that. We were Um, just walking. (sighs) I'm going to like, don't want to eat. You don't have to bring your food. Wait, don't we have a bag of holding with someone? I don't know. I do think you? I do. Rosalind? No. Yes. I yeah. Do. Does. Mm. Yeah. So, as as she says that to me, yeah, I'm gonna like give her the deadpan stare and then pull out my uh, my bag of holding is very nice. It's like a really nice purse, and she's just gonna like, and it's gonna unlock. <laughs> <She'll be> like, <laughs> I think I'll be fine. Just start shoving everything in there. That's why yeah. she brought you here. Like, start getting ready, guys. Um, yeah. As you're shoving all of your essentials into your beautiful, sexy purse. Um, <laughs> it's designer. What's your passive perception, uh, Scarlet? Ooh, probably not very good. 11. 11. 
11. I got a plus one to my wisdom. And I'm not proficient in... I am proficient in perception. Oh, but that doesn't matter if I'm not rolling. Yeah, it's just 11. Okay, yeah, just 11. Don't worry about it. I definitely won't be. I'm still kind of like looking kind of sassily at this. I think I'm trying to get the point across that I don't want to be here any more than you want to be here. And yet you don't hear me bitching about it kind of face. She's oh, she's gone. Like oh. she's she's checking her own pack over twice, making sure everything's good to go. Her swords are sharp, all of that stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. Lady Orion is spending 10 minutes uh, summoning herself a Pegasus to ride because she ain't fucking walking. Oh, Damn. wow. I'm going to um, wow. cast Mage Armor and, you know, get set up. Okay. Um, you guys yeah. are all good to go. Let me see if I have to, if there's any daily preparations that my warlock is responsible for. I don't think so. Um, um yeah. I think look, as a as a cleric, I do have to commune with my god in the morning to choose spe- spells. Um, so I think I would have done that, but with a little less enthusiasm than usual because Clover is starting to be a little bit disillusioned with religion in general. I'm um, so especially sorry. Luna. <laughs> she still uh, does it though, but just hmm. okay. So why is this? Okay. Uh, yeah. So, um, as you guys, I guess, line up and get going, uh, give me a perception check, uh, Scarlet. Scarlet. Okay. Oh boy. I feel like I'm being bullied. Uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two off in the distance by. Off in the distance, leaning against one of the walls, you see a familiar face watching you pack up and leave. Um, she has beautiful violet skin and b- glowing purple eyes and long, long, lustrous white hair that she always keeps back in a braid and of an expression of just disappointment you see you see shreen watching you and i can't remember has she been in contact with me since i returned to the temple after for my penance or no you did you seek her out i'm i don't know i i don't think i wouldn't avoid her unless she was avoiding me i just kind of follow protocol i go where i'm supposed to go you know i'm not there to socialize but i'm also not like you know i take it on the chin if you had not sought her out she would not have sought you out okay well, I might take offense to that. And then I see her looking at me with disappointment. And I think I'm going to return a look of equal disappointment before breaking my eyes away and getting back to packing. This is as you're leaving. Yeah. She, I guess you don't really see it, but she uh, she has one hand very delicately placed upon the other on her chest and uh, on just under her, you know, under her breasts and just kind of bows and turns and leaves. I didn't see the bow. No. Nope. Okay. Well, just gonna kind of like when my back is turned, I'm gonna make one of those faces. <laughs> you go. You guys begin your travels. Um, you make it outside of Salandria before your. You make it outside of Salandria. Everyone give me a perception check. Nine. 
I'm currently having like, you know, those shower thoughts when you have an argument with somebody aggressively in your imagination and it's all the things that you would say that you don't actually have the balls to say, but because it's your imagination, you can just let ham because you never interrupt it when it's in your imagination. I think she is doing that right now as she just kind of like has her eyes kind of forward, but in her head, she's thinking some like just going off. <laughs> all right. So most of you are very 15. 15 okay 13 unless it's smell is it smell um, related? smells like flowers probably nothing you'd notice everything smells kind of flowery out here but your diet but diana and orion have definitely seen something and then just and then just ignored it and Delphra, you figure out why really quickly as a little green bird drops onto your shoulder and then goes across your, to the other shoulder and then poop, poop, poof, um, appears beside you a woman, green skin and hair with flowers in it, bright yellow eyes. Who'd you piss off this time? Hmm. Do we know this woman? Delphra does. <sighs> Too many people. And Delphra just kind of like smirks at her. Diane is going to hate you. This will be fun. It's okay. She's got a big stick up her ass. She's really kind of a sweetie, though. If you can push past, you know, the frigid cunt. Are we? I'm sorry. Are we all seeing this? This is flower, right? This is, this is, yeah, this is black. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Um, yeah. Sorry. A friend of yours? Uh, Delphi just kind of like giggles and goes, yeah, yeah. I'd say her best friend. Thank Dear you Lord. very much. Oh. Um, it, you, you've, you've got something there and I'm going to kind of point to the poop that was left. The poop that was left? Didn't the sheep do a bird poop? Or no, I accidentally I went to say poof and my and I said poop. I, but <laughs> I thought she left a bird poop on She Delphi's left a bird head. Poop. She left a bird poop on your shoulder and she looks at it and she on Delphi's shoulder, she looks at it and she goes, uh oh, press the digitation. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Sorry, sometimes you gotta go. Anywho. Oh man. Where are you going? I'm gonna go see the prince again. Why is he hot? He's sexy. Actually, He's yeah. Sexy hot. Really? Yeah. Want to come? Okay. No. And that's just from the front of the line. Was that Orion or was that <laughs> our orc lady? <laughs> it was your orc lady. Orion has not said a word. Yeah. You're kind of like the worst. You know that? That's why nobody invites you to any of our parties. What parties? Exactly my point. Delphi so just like shakes her head. She goes, why am I not surprised? Okay, well, I'm going to go turn into a mole and dig on the ground for a while. True, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Love, Love you. Love you too. And then she's the cutest little mole ever and gone in the ground. <laughs> Can moles be cute? Is that Delphra? You don't I think moles are cute? You? That You say that and it, she digs back up and looks at you. <laughs> How dare you? Right, that was star not cat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, are what you did guys... you say, Clover? Hmm. Wait, she's eating. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have. It's okay. Take oh. your time. 
I just asked um, what her name was. Her uh, name Blair. is. Yeah. I give her a last name. It's Daisy. Nice. Yeah. Sorry, I missed um, that. Could you say that again? Blath or Blath. She, B-L-A-T-H. Like and then Bath, Daisy. But Blath. If you look in the Lunar Sisters, she's there as well as Shireen. So that you guys can see what she looks like. Um, awesome. Thank you. So. It's actually pretty epic. You played like exactly what I pictured her to be. <laughs> Yay! As you guys make your way back through the lunar forest, it's familiar luminous trees and silver barked trunks guiding your path. Is there anything anyone is doing specifically? No? I think snows um, or I'm... snow, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I'm just sniffing around for lizards. I'm trying to see if we catch a glimpse of this Yulstus lizard again. Oh my God. Roll um, me roll me a D20 and tell me what you get. Nat 20. A nat 20? <gasps> you see 20. these little these little tiny prints, same to like to what you saw before, uh following behind Cappy. Invisible. Little prints being made. Cappy. Yeah? Cappy. Yeah, what? I think... I think the Yulstus lizard is following you. Look! And when you out. say that, you see... You see the little footprints go up Cap some of Cappy's hair and her fur. And then gone. Hey, where'd you go? Show yourself. And these two little footprints kind of appear on each side of her nose, and they're gone. I have a giant tome, and I go, hold still. No, 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 I don't want to kill it, but where is it? This tiny... I feel it? (laughs) You... You, it's, it doesn't feel like there's anything on you right now. Can you see it? I can't. I just, I, Nothing. Can see the footprints. And then just the a very, a very small puff of, of frost hits your nose from in front of you. And there's still in, whatever's doing this is still invisible. I'm gonna put my hand on her face. <laughs> you just palm her face. I don't feel a little wriggly. There, there was nothing there. Um, you know what? Roll me, roll me a d twenty. Okay. Um, can I do it in your chat? Add your dex to it. Oh, okay. I can do that. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen. You, as you palm her face. Just you, just barely. You feel just something brush your pinky. Oh, oh no! It's screwed off. It's screwed <laughs> off. It's screwed <laughs> off. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm okay with the useless lizard, but why is it on my face? Uh, and why can't I see it? I don't know. Did you leave out milk and cookies the night before? I mean, I I was I I had some, but I didn't. I wasn't leaving him out for somebody else. I just I just ate some cookies and drank some milk. It wasn't. Did, did you hang your mittens by the fireplace for presents? Oh, it wasn't that cold. I wasn't wearing my mittens yesterday. I start listing off every single like holiday tradition that we have. <laughs> did you really like falling star? <laughs> We're going to take a quick uh, five-minute break because uh, GM of Revan is here. Yay! I want whiskey. (laughs) (laughs) That was so ugly. Ew, don't make me do the ugly laugh, guys. 
<laughs> oh no okay everyone let's oh, make God. her laugh <laughs> her <laughs> that, that was all i could have hoped for <laughs> i have a cackle it's the worst <laughs> So anyways, if you can't swallow your pills, you should just put them in a fruit roll up and then swallow it that way. <laughs> yes, because everyone knows we have way more experience with that shape than a pill by itself. The girth isn't even that bad then. Think about it's it. It's true. When you compare it to that, it's it's really child's play. Well, not you child's even play. Do <laughs> Definitely not child's play. <laughs> oh, God. I don't I'm even do that either, guys. We're good. Fruit roll-ups, not note. my type of deal. <laughs> On that note, um, we're back from our break where uh, the party has been, I guess, trying to figure out what's what, why the Eulstice lizard is running around <laughs> Cappy. Can can we do like a check? Like, do we know the legend of the the Eulstice lizard and if this is an omen or like do is there like a behavior that we would go? Oh, I know. When you see the paw prints of the little lizard, you're supposed to start like doing a carol. Like like, is there a tradition here that Give we would me know? A history check. I'm not good at history. Can I, I help her? Wrong. Uh, sure. Just rem- yeah, you tell me and remind me of <laughs> of everything. Um, if you're helping me, that's advantage, right? Yes. Okay, let me roll again. Uh, a fourteen. It's not the worst, I guess. One second, I'm making notes of something. Whew. World building on the fly. Here we go. I love how we just invented a whole holiday. Like that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, and then we're like, "Hey, Jess, tell me about this holiday." Tell me about invented. this. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's essentially just the same holiday. We're just changing some of the. So you got a seventeen, right? Mm-hmm. You remember? You remember little poems and stuff that would come up, and you can you remember in the winter's frosty breeze. Dances the Eulstice lizards with such ease. <laughs> Fucking decked in Delphra holly just... and festive sight. Go ahead. Delphra's just starting to do a jig as she's like reciting this. Spreading joy and magic are ro- all night. I'm fucking doing, I'm sorry, this is the worst. All night with scales that shimmer red and green. A holiday spirit, bright and keen. Bringing warmth to the coldest snow, the Eulstice lizard let, lets the festivities grow. That's the little poem that you remember. Did you just make that up on the spot, Jess? That was amazing. That was so I fucking so. hard. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> it was I amazing. It. I was like, dang, did you just pull a chat GPT on us and write a poem? <laughs> <laughs> a chat chat I was GPT. like, <laughs> I was That's- fucking around. That was so fucking hard. I, I need a copy of this poem so I can tell it to my kids on Christmas morning and tell them about <laughs> the Yule Titus, the Yule Sis Lizard. The Lizard, um, I might give my eldest nightmares, but I'm okay with that. Well, you need to turn this into like an elf on the shelf situation and like stage. Elf little- on anyway. the shelf does not live in this home. And but if anyone brings it here, the we'll lizard it. on the blizzard does. I, I I will get behind a lizard. Me fucking being like, what are Christmas words? <laughs> <laughs> Taking notes, guys. Christmas words. <laughs> oh fuck okay uh, <laughs> you remember that little poem um with you got a 17 you remember that there are traditions of leaving sweets by windowsills um and you remember that it's he was said to be a good little spirit Leaving drawings on windows for people in frost 
making sure that Yulstice was a very magical time of year for the kids. It's a Just good the lizard. Kids. For everyone. But the kids seem to get a, a, a little extra attention. Rude. <laughs> well, for a soul house do? as a kid, it's okay. Get it hot. I, I I don't even remember what it was like to be a kid. Remember? That's, That's why you I are don't. still a kid. That's why you're no. still a kid. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. You feel cold paws, uh, just like run across your forehead, Delphra, and then nothing. He petted me. Uh, he petted me. Oh, good. So it's not and, just me. Can you turn it into a, 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 a solstice lizard? Fucking, I'm doing it. I need a stat block. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna try and t- turn into a solstice lizard, one that's never been seen. Oh, it's never you been have, seen. Oh, never been, oh, you only they, have drawings of it. Oh, difficult guys. Is this like a like if you are a druid and you try and wild shape into something that it doesn't actually has not ever actually been seen in nature? Is this like a game of telephone thing where it could come up like <laughs> super fucked? <laughs> oh, you need no. to have seen it. You yeah. need to have seen it. Ah, uh, okay. Question your yeah, imagination no. count. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Question. Could could we could if we've traveled from a faraway place slash have been hunting slash anemones there? She's just been the strong silent type per usual. Um, <laughs> if would if they I rec- rely on my imagination? Um, I'm gonna end up turning into the freaking booby man from my nightmares. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, w- would it be possible for for anemone to help Delphra by describing what she knows of lizards? <laughs> you could try. I am open uh, to having you try. Oh, oh, so here's, 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 here's the deal. You just turned into a lizard, right? Here's, here's yeah. the deal, Dafra. Here's the deal. So anemone, anemone is pretty good at uh, perception. Um, so am I. She's good at good. She's good at perception. You, okay, so if you guys if you guys want to try this you are more than welcome to do so i will um, give her advantage on you just wild shape is just something that you can do i'm gonna say we're gonna i'm gonna have a history check to it because you have to remember what it looks like fucking nat 20 Fuck yeah. <laughs> you turn into the first picture that you've ever seen of the I mean at its splitting image, the sca- the red and, and uh green scales of of like a del- is it a dilophosaurus lizard? Dilophosaurus? <laughs> what the <laughs> hell is a dilophosaurus? Oh, like the frills? Yeah. Like a frilled frills? lizard? Okay. Mm-hmm. Like a little frilled lizard. Is it my name? It's red and green. It's a Delphrosaurus <laughs> Rex. It's a Delphrosaurus. <laughs> and at that exact time, as you turn into that, um, in your ear, Cappy, you hear. <laughs> Can't I find a picture of a Delphrosaurus? And then nothing. I think sh- um, like the Dilophosaurus from uh, Jurassic Park with the big oh. frog. Do that, you feel ar- you feel feet kind of run down your arm. Oh, oh. The, the, oh. I, I I guess. Um, hello, Eustace Lizard. I uh, uh h- happy Eustace. Glad to have you along, I guess. As this has been going on and you've been dealing with this issue, um, you look ahead and suddenly Diana and Orion are gone. Uh, Nice. We can make a break for it. We're free. (laughs) 
We don't have to go on the stupid um, mission. We can <laughs> we can root out corruption in the church and expose the conspiracy for what it is and rally up a rebellion and oh um mm-hmm. just, shh. You might be in trouble. Shh. Can I look for them? Look I, around for them? Same here. Same. You don't see them. I rolled a 17. Perception. You don't see them. Okay. What what is up ahead on uh, the road? Like they were ahead of us, right? Like they what, were ahead what of you. Ahead on the road? Ah, trees. Seems like you're on the same path. I want to call for them. You Darn. Call for them and you don't hear anything back. Well, I can't speak common anymore, I'm assuming. Because <laughs> you're a lizard? Because I'm a lizard. So I'm just going to start doing a mating dance. Hopefully I can calling this other lizard over. <laughs> what's a, what's it a mating dance look like instead Clover's eyes go blown and she <laughs> oh, involuntarily no. pounces on you uh, um, <laughs> and, and can i can make a sleight of hand to <laughs> you can you can, <laughs> you can try and pull her off her okay <laughs> yeah i'm gonna do that if that's okay put her in air, air jail this is <laughs> <laughs> Anemone is laughing her ass off because she rolled a seven. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> laughing her ass off. It's not that hard. She's small. You've got her like by her. You've got her like by her scruff, and she's like, "I'm gonna eat it." And you're just like, <laughs> Anemone is fully laughing with her with her ass on the ground and just going, "We're supposed to be in a dangerous mission, but this is the funniest thing I've seen all day." So, so but, do I get the attention of the other lizard? Because I'm trying to see if the other lizard knew where they went. Um, There's a method behind my madness. I I know, but the other <laughs> lizard does not lo- does no longer seem like they're here. Oh, this is all for nothing. <laughs> I am watching. The they they dance. are invisible, Very so amused. they could still be here. You just don't know where they are. Can I turn invisible? Since I'm one of them. Are you though? Why don't you try? <laughs> what am I rolling for this? You're going to roll a d20 and tell me what you get. 15. As much as you try. Daddy December isn't a real thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> you are. <laughs> Wait, what? what? As whatever you are tr- turned into right now is definitely what? not what is what? running around you. I'm what do you, sorry. <laughs> what do you mean, Daddy December isn't real? Of course he's real. I feel like you just crushed all my hopes and dreams. <laughs> in in your ear, Sin, you hear. Yeah, of course I'm wheel. And then there's nothing there. We live in a world where demons and dragons and goddesses. Why can't Daddy December be real? <laughs> Who brought me all my presents? <laughs> Daddy December is real in Narnia. Why can't he be real here? I I always thought dragons brought presents. Daddy December is a dragon? Is he an uh, in in dragon? Anemone's ear? You hear? That's because they do. <gasps> oh, you do. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 there. wait, hold on. <laughs> Daddy Anemone's December like, is an eggnog wait, wait, wait. dragon. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait one second. Shh. Did everybody hear this really cute voice? It was like, oh, Daddy December, kind of that yeah. voice. He said that. Did, it oh, Did I, I, I smoke? heard? I heard laughing though earlier. Laughing. Okay, laughing. Delphi, you just need to nod. Delphine just starts jumping up and down. <laughs> you know what? That's actually way better than whatever dance you were doing the last time. Okay, but I get it now. Um, uh, I think you need more frills. And then Minnie's going to do like the whole ADHD thing. Like it will go- make everything pretty. You I heard know. it again and it is adorable. Everyone heard it. <gasps> yeah, oh, ad- okay, really there's good. an adorable little dragon. Adorable reverend dragon being of amazing BC things. Could could do you mind showing yourself? In between Cappy's ears, nestled in her fur, 
is the tiniest, smaller than my hand, little fairy dragon with white crystallized little um, scales that look like icicles all over him. These big, big wound eyes. And I'm going to show you a picture in chat because I have not finished putting him up yet. Uh, where is this? My question yeah. is, is does Clover end up pouncing on him? <laughs> on well, be pouncing on. head. And Nemini is holding on to Clover right yeah. now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then, Clover's struggling. And then Nemini's going to and then Minnie's gonna grab Clover and be like, "It's okay, shh, 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 it's okay, shh, 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 the little tiny hands at all. <laughs> Snow's try or er, uh, Sin's trying not to break. She's trying not to break. I can't see it, so everybody's just freaking out and being like, "Oh my god, so cute!" And I'm like, "Happy." He, can he, can he, he, he crawls down your face until eventually he's in your paws, <gasps> and he and he looks up at you, gives you a big wave. Hi. <laughs> so this was the invisible thing. Yep. <laughs> so you're just what the <laughs> hell am I? <laughs> you're beautiful. Duffer, you're I beautiful. Dude, I look like the thing from freaking nightmares. <laughs> what, who, who are you? B, who are you? I'm happy. You're happy? That's a nice name. Thank you. I like your fur. It's soft. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, I, I'm I'm glad you like it. Oh, these are my sisters. It's Aurora. He, you and you Delphra. watch as you watch as he kind of like does a circle on your palm to look at everybody. He looks at Clover first and goes, Can your name? I'm Clover. I'm hey. sorry I tried to chase you before. It's okay. Good. You gonna eat me now? I I won't eat you now. Okay. You seem nice. Now. I don't want to eat you now. Okay. And then and then then he looks over to said, "What's your name? To have it." Um. Oh, that that's Aurora. Aurora. She looks at you when you say that's Aurora and she's kind of like startled by that. And she goes, because she was like, the word sin was coming out of her mouth. You don't yes. like that, Dave? No, I just, um, most people call me by my avatar. <laughs> the online alias. Um, <laughs> You uh, could you... call me Daddy Dragon. Daddy? That's what all the kids call me. Are you not a kid? No. I'm a fairy dragon. Oh, I thought you meant like, a kid fairy dragon. Yes, that that makes perfect sense. Um, that is what I look like. I'm small. Did you just say Daddy Dragon? Like yeah, I'm Daddy Dragon. Like Daddy December. Like Daddy December. I'll Do always you... remember. <laughs> you could call me Daddy December. Why are you here? Insight check. Hi. <laughs> is this Insight? is this Daddy December? Um, I roll. Oh, I roll. I, it, this guys, this is Daddy December. I rolled a four. This is Dad. Wait, no. Whoa. I feel like on a bad insight, I think I would go. No, you're screwed off. Delphra <laughs> is gonna. I don't screw Dal. <laughs> uh, Delphra's gonna like end her wild shape and there goes one for the books guys uh and roll an insight if that's okay yeah roll an insight what are you looking for i'm looking for what the hell this thing is 
I mean, like you're like you want to like, know if it's telling the truth or if it's yeah. just fucking with us. Yeah. When you when you pop up, pop out a wild shape, it's these tiny little wings make it fly and they're going as fast as like a hummingbird and he, he's like flying over to you hi like oh, first of all, I just kind of like hi okay bye and he goes and flies back over to Cappy and lands in between it's, it's your ears and takes one of your ears and covers it and the other one to cover behind it I don't like her she doesn't like me I I don't think that that's true. I think maybe she just needs to warm up to you. She's like but, but, uh, but self is a, a... <laughs> Oh, that's not what I meant. She's a wildfire druid, so maybe that's it. Oh, she go belt me. I'll that's okay. We be I'll be friends with you instead. Why are you here yeah. with us? Why not? Well, well, you could be anywhere else. Why, why here? Because this is where I showed up today. Do you not decide where you show up? Not all the time. Did you decide to show up here, though? No. You just then did. Who decided just for decided you? Decided to come here because. What do you mean? Who decided for me? If you didn't decide to be here, who decided for you? That's a doe. Estelia? Who's Estelia? Estelia? That's Isn't the that world you live the, on. Yeah, the world. That is the world oh. you live on. <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> Estelia. 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 Got it. Yeah. That's a doe, Estelia. <laughs> the, the, the world wanted you here? Yeah, why not? I wouldn't think Why are of you the here? world. Oh. Hmm. Well, uh, my mom and dad that's fade a... into black. <laughs> hey. I mean, that's a very, like, I don't know how existential you want it to be. Because I was thinking more like, why are you here right now with us today? And why I am here right now with us today is to go to Tenebrosa to get the moonstone back. And... So that's what I I meant. Not really. Why am I present in the world at all? Oh, sorry. It's okay. I just. And he takes I, your I, ear and he's just like holding it to his face, like he's embarrassed. Well, don't be embarrassed. I I just um I I guess we're just we have we have some reasons to be suspicious, especially here. I go away. No, and then he's like, no, 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 no. It's just, it, it's not that I'm suspicious of you. I just, I guess I, I just, I, I, I'm curious. Um, it's not often that you see very tiny fairy dragons. That's cool. We're very weird. We're very, very weird. And comes down uh, on your shoulder. He goes, wait, could I, ha could I have your hand? Yeah. He's like standing right here. You put your hand out. He jumps onto it. It's because of where we are. But yeah. Hi. Night. Hey. Do a general insight check on this lizard to see if this whole I'm super cutesy thing is an act. Yeah. yeah. Um, the chat please. is like, this is how exactly how I'd be lured to my death. <laughs> <laughs> Legit. Yeah, 100%. go ahead. What are, uh, do you want to do an insight? Yes, please. Okay. Um. <laughs> and that's what you hear. Okay. 17. 17. It's a very small dragon. He's just, just a little good, just a little guy. What does he want? Maybe he's playing it up <laughs> a little bit. But so otherwise, he, he's just a small guy. Sisters, did our you... escorts are out of sight. <laughs> Do we? Oh, did they you... were boring, so I made them go further. But you can see them in a minute. I just I told mean, them that. Huh? Should we go get lost, or should we go find them? Well, well they're like I really mean... over there. This is kind of yeah. What? I say How we go find them, them, but we bring them. 
the little white devil with us. Oh, the white devil. <laughs> white devil. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, you know what? There's a lot of cuteness that's happening right now. Yeah, it's that. it's a little bit overwhelming, don't you think, I sister? Think, I think I'm a good girl. Okay. You well, so I thought there was a boy. You're so adorable. I don't know. I don't know. You just want to. Okay. Nice to wait. 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 Meet so, you. but how did you make them disappear? They were well, just hmm. kind of made. A split. A I split? Huh? A, sp a split. Use your ears. <laughs> oh, I like, like, a like, like, like a ice cream? Yeah, kind of. So like a they're split still in the here, fabric of time and reality? So, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh, we need to take this dragon with us. If, if they could do that. Um, Hey, would you like to come on an adventure? We could definitely split time and reality every once in a while if it means getting distance between us and things that might to hurt us. Or just command a dragon. I, I don't think I should. We can give you compliments the whole time. Speak for yourself. Because I'm a cute dragon. Uh -huh, a cute exactly. Dragon. A cute dragon. Do you want to be told that you're <laughs> a cute dragon? I'm okay. I know I'm beautiful. What, what do I you eat? What foods do you like? We can we can give you food. Do you have sweets? Do we have? Yeah, sweets? I have. Pro I, yeah, I have. I always have some cookies. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're the bestest! Um, they're Christmas it's crunch cookies. crumbs everywhere. <laughs> Oh, this they're, is how we all they're die. They're useless cookies. Lured to our death by a tiny dragon who eats cookies. Useless cookies is the best time of year. I feel like there's like a fountain of crumbs going like, <laughs> yeah, just just over from from her hand, just. <laughs> And then he's going to take a big deep breath and like you can kind of see the mental mantra that's on her face. Like, I will not try to squeeze the cheeks out of this little cute little tiny thing. Will not try to. Mm. And then they will go. Okay. All that to say is. You like, see a big cheek just like per for perfectly positioned for a little pinch. Annie will smack her hand going, Annie, stop that. Annie, um, okay, so i wondering, brain thinking, um, not butt part. thinking. No, I'll, not the I'll, other I'll, one. I'll, um, <laughs> so we are separated by our escorts, right? Yeah, but I'm going to put you back. But, hold on Don't one do second. That. Hold, hold on one second. Wait. Sorry, go on. Clover. Oh, I just... I mean, they. I know they don't like us. Well, Diana doesn't like us, but you know, I think they'd be worrying about us, and I'm worrying about them. They, Here's the splitting thing: the party is never a good idea. We're kind Strength of being and all that. forced, coerced into this mission. Um, well, we haven't had time to deconstruct the revelations, and we're basically being thrown out to do the bidding of a force that we don't truly understand and haven't had an opportunity to do our own research. Um, That's horrible. We're mm. pretty much prisoners at this moment. Um, Kinda, yeah. What are you eating? Candy cane. I ate the cookie that the, I was given by the bestest person in the world that I sitting in her pub. I'm not saying we should split, but I just wanted to point out that our escorts are separated from us at the moment, and this poses the first opportunity we have had since we arrived with the Moonstone for true freedom. We don't know that the prince has any knowledge of the Moonstone or has, knows what is going on. We're just being frog-marched back to the prince, who we did not leave on good terms with, without any research, any plan, nothing. That is a conundrum. Do you need Do you know, help? Do you know anything about the prince? Do you know anything about the moonstone? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's say the drama. You uh, know about the prince. 
Yeah. You, yeah. Will you tell us with hot chocolate as anemone Does somehow know, manages to get you just like, chocolate? To, and... <laughs> Does she know what prince we're even talking about? Because we just said the prince. Yeah. <laughs> he said Tabrosa earlier. Oh, yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. We did. Very smart dragon. I Maybe. was I was there when the the green girl said that you were going. That's where you're going. And then she turned to Bola. Then she went away forever. Forever? I don't know. She's gone. So out of my sight. I can't see it. I don't know. Forever. Oh yeah, that's definitely see, how it see, works. See, do you want my help? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay, but what you could give me? All the cookies you could ever want. And I look you right at have... Cappy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you can have all my cookies. And if I get more cookies, you can have some of those, too. Do you like peppermint? Do you no, I don't chocolate? like your cookies. You gave me cookies. You want my help? Look at that sin. You want my help? Like a gimme. Like a gimme. Like a gimme. Like what do you want? It's so fun if I ask for things. Shoot. And I'm going to, like, look into my bag, which is, like... If you looked into Sin's bag, you would think it belonged to like a paladin with how uh -huh. like neat, clean, folded linens, some very, very practical, boring rations, nothing very nice. Um, but she thinks she goes, you know what? There is a delightful candy shop in my village, which is on the way. If we get there. It's one of those candy shops where you pick everything else that you want and you put it in a bag and you put it on a weight and it like charges you by the weight. I will buy it for you. Whatever you want. Well, we don't know if we're going to get there because you don't know what the future holds. So how about this? I help you and you give me small helps later. Oh, this oh, is a no. fade deal, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a fade deal, isn't it? Is there a limit to what kind of small helps? Do we have a cap on small helps? I'll Define tell you what. small helps. I I will. No, I, I will put my things. offer. I will put my counter offer. Small helps up to, but not exceeding, putting our lives in obvious danger. Or. I'm thinking, Snow is, uh, Sin is thinking about this very, very, very carefully. Within reason, that is within our immediate power to do so, that does not put us in obvious harm's way. That's a lot of words. Yes. Nemini. Nemini. If I, if son, if I was going to die, would you save me? Don't swear on it. Just, duh. Anemone is for the first time in her in her life having a mental breakdown slash crisis. Do you see these big because, eyes? No! Look at you. Anemone, I Nelfra, know you. I know you. This would pink say tongue you comes out of its mouth and just hangs off the Delphra, side. Delphra, will you summons, save me? Delphra summons Quartzly, and Quartzly like basically bolts up onto um anemone's shoulders and like wraps his tails around her <laughs> with just leaving like the nose out to breathe in your palm there is nothing i'm gonna like i'm gonna like grab anemone's head put my mouth right next to her ear so our cheek we're cheek to cheek right i'm like cradling your head and patting her back and i'm saying sister you can you can save the dragon. You mm -hmm. just don't have to promise to save the dragon because it's mm. a big fucking deal. And Faye, you know he's Faye, gone. You're smart. Mm. He left. Mm. Why? You scared when the fox jumped out. He got scared and he he turned invisible and he left and he's gone. Wow. And in that was probably from in front from in front of you. You hear what are you doing? They see me and anatomy <laughs> cheek to cheek. I'm like hugging and like flushing her. <laughs> like in between you is Quartzly just like. I'm just staring at my as, palms. Um, as uh, oh, Lady Orion looks back at you. Aren't, she's riding side saddle, by the way. As, uh, you know, what as demure as ever. What does this look like? Is this like a, what are they called? Claude, Claude's Claudesdale? Claudesdale? Like Klein, it's a Kleinsdale. A like, Clyde. Clydesdale. It's exactly the Pegasus from Hercules. Yes. Oh. Oh. And oh. such a she's garish riding color side for you, sister. Well, 
things. If we're going to be rude. <laughs> Sorry, what? <clears throat> she turns away and the rain and just kind of like move, moves the reins and walk and <laughs> trots away. She goes, um, one second while I check some things. While you check some things, I'm going to turn back to the party and be like, she definitely serves Nixaria. That attitude. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> you dumb child. <laughs> and then he's then... got Quartzley's tails in her face and she's like, I can't breathe. <laughs> Quartzley just like releases you and just kind of like drapes over you like one of those like fox scars. Uh, from Ace Ventura. Make um make a dexterity saving check. You mean the man? Me. Uh, <laughs> the guy? Where the guy? Sin. <laughs> make a dexterity saving check for me as a so for, out of nowhere. Um a mage hand kind of just appears in front of your foot and you, you trip. Wow, I got an eleven. I assume that's a fail. If I trip, no, you 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 catch you you like go down on a knee, but you get back up. I'm gonna get back up, and I'm gonna go very mature. I have no idea what you're talking about. What did the mage hand look like? <laughs> like uh, I don't it... think you. I don't. I really don't think you saw it long enough because you broke it real fast. Okay, I was going to say, look, who else here has a pitch black starry ass uh, mage hand <laughs> with the sign of the new moon carved onto its palm? <laughs> Come along, children. Yeah, I'm getting really tired of this. Mm. I'm not saying this to Diana. I'm saying this to Clover. Me too. I I really get the feeling those two don't respect us. And I mean, I guess from what they've seen, there's, I mean, that's probably kind of not a bad assumption to make, but still, it's not very nice, is it? If you give respect, you get respect. No, At this goes up. point, you hear howling all around you. Oh, for the love of God. Too many voices pitch in and you see commander diana look at lady orion and they're like yeah i'll go this way you go that way and they split off in an attempt to just make sure that nothing's coming here uh before she before the commander leaves uh she looks at you guys and she goes up ahead is the grove meet us there the naked grove no, that's the tree. And then why she <laughs> <laughs> the tree of literally lights. <laughs> and then she walks away. <laughs> We're just uh, systematically ruining your world one piece at a time, aren't we, Jess? <laughs> no, no, it's great. <laughs> uh you wanted a sapphic adventure. We are here to deliver. You are getting it. Okay. I'm fine with it. Um, so as you guys get to the moonlight glade um tell me what you are doing as you like are you are you on alert how are you approaching yeah this? i think that we would be like there's wolves about and mm -hmm. we lost our powers <laughs> yeah the wolves just skipping ahead. Parts. of course <laughs> she is <laughs> okay delphers just skipping ahead are you skipping right into the into the glade <clears throat> Not me. I am very <sighs> sneaky, cautious. Delphra, what are you doing? Sorry, go on. I'm literally like pulling one of these and like skipping, okay, but so... like kind of low, like like crouch doing it. Are are okay? So you're you're trying to skip and crouch at the same time. Legit. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna need everyone to give me a stealth. Are you check. saying la 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 la? <laughs> I kind of want to, but I don't want to. I got to I got 24. 20, 24. I got a 9. You're gone. <laughs> I got a roll it with advantage. Cappy, roll Anemone it with advantage. is muttering under oh, her 21. Breath. She got a 10. Yeah, I got 10. a 15. 
15. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> that is rough. Um, and then the, just so, just so you know what she's saying as to why she's not so stealthy. She's just going to be talking about dragon cheeks and fur. <laughs> so you are lamenting fluff. the loss of your little dragon buddy. I was like 1000% and he's like, they were cute. Th- I'm surrounded by cute things. In, in your there could ear, have been you, another cute thing. In your ear, you hear, Okay, baby, I'll let you touch them, but you got to be quiet right now, okay? Roll with advantage. <laughs> we have well, a snow um, dragon. So, so here's the thing. Yeah, I rolled with advantage. Still not great. The 10 is it. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys did go. And then it's just gone. Um... As you guys approach this once familiar glade, um, it is now, it now appears distorted. The tranquility of the, of the whole entire place has been shattered by the unsettling sight that you see. Oh. The scene is gruesome. Um, Two werewolves currently engaged in a heated argument near a tied up owl bear a quivering red will of the wisp is like taking cover under its beak a deceased owl bear lays almost right in front of you its lifeless form evidence of a very grim struggle you hear oh actually i'll make i'm gonna make you roll for uh perception to see what you hear Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Nat, okay. nat twenty for twenty three. Twenty. Okay. You guys are <laughs> gonna hear this, and I assume that you're gonna like tell everybody. Um an an anemone, make me uh make me a history check to see if you remember which one of these bears this is, and you can do it with advantage. For sure. um just so you know, my perception check is nine. Nine, okay. Um <laughs> okay uh eight eight um right you honestly can't tell the difference right now that the, they're both covered in blood uh but, you but she would would she still know that she would remember that there were two owl bears that she got to cuddle yes and that but that it's just bad okay beef and owly were their names and Beef was in love with Owly. Oh, he was the the simp one. Yeah. Who we gave bad advice to. Are we holding we... Delphra back right now? Well, let's see the scene and then we'll do you decide wanna, if Do you want to hear what back. they're saying? It's up yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you were the one that rolled well at, listen, at listening to what they were saying. Okay, no, let's hear what they have to so, say before I kill them. Wolf, Wolf one, we'll call him. He is a lanky, agile werewolf with mottled gray fur. Uh, and he speaks. He says, eat, eat now. Eat now is good. We can finish anything we get and get more. And then Wolf 2, a larger, more imposing dire wolf m- with mangy fur replies, mm-hmm. the boss will know. Besides, if we bring back to the tree the whole clan can eat they will be stronger and we will be able to eat more when we attack moon's shadow the false moon children make excellent meals and then wolf number one growls and goes "Mm, fine but maybe we could have just just a little nibble she smells so good. And he goes to attack Owly. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. What do you do? Delphra yells mm-mm, mm-mm. no. And Portsley is Roost out of the bushes and scream no? 
Yeah. I can't imagine that. I can't imagine that Rosalind is going to let this shit happen either with the will of wisp yeah. in danger. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, no, no, definitely I'm, no, I'm definitely going to give her an, a surprise attack because she would immediately. Yeah. Okay. Sin will is will definitely wisp. from a crouched hidden position taking aim. And Delphra's <laughs> making herself the like, no target. Uh, one sec while I set this up. I have, I, have shitty, I have shitty stealth, so I'm with Delphra. C- can okay. I a quickly, qu- big question. Did we have had a long rest before this? Or no? Yes. Yes, okay. you did. Mm-hmm. I will change that because okay. that will help me with my rage. <clears throat> cool. Rage. Okay. Now, so, Anemone, like what, is your, what is your, uh, your, fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? Initiative. Oh. Um, let me roll that. Anemone is pretty good today. 19. 19. Okay. Uh, Cappy. Oh, it was Moon's Shadow, Daniel. I'm sorry. What What am I rolling? I spaced. Your initiative. You should do. <sighs> all right. All right. Uh, 18. 18. Very nice. Clover. 11. 11. Delphra. 19 19 okay uh who has the higher decks anemone or delphra delphra anemone i forgot i have a 12 okay then i am anemone okay so then i'm gonna put you at uh that's 18 who has the higher decks between um cappy and delphra uh i have 14 in decks Delphra, I, have I don't have your... Okay. okay, so 17 is where you're going to go. Uh, Rosalind got a 20. And Sin? 12. 12. Okay. So, I'm going to say this. Okay. So, Rosalind's gonna go first. Um, even before shit, she not 20. She's gonna go twice. Uh, because I said that Rosalind got a sneak attack. Who else got a sneak attack before people burst through? I mean, I was behaving you, in you a sneak were... attack kind of way. So then like you'll I, get I one as well. In. And the other and and Clover and I, the rest of you were like barreling through, right? So, mm-hmm. um, I'm gonna have Roslyn go first, and then you two will go and do your thing. Uh, so, Rosalind, you are an assassin. This is your time to shine. You have advantage on attack rolls against any creature that hasn't taken a turn in combat. Mm. All right, love that. So she's gonna her. take out her longbow, and she's gonna aim. You see her just line up a shot at the dire wolf. And she hits. Does that mean it's a crit? Hang on. If she had advantage, no, she has to get. She still has the crit to get. It's a, a crit. critical hit. No, no, no. If you're, if you're, if um, sorry. How it goes is if she hasn't taken a turn in combat yet, and you hit it, you hit a score against it. The creature is, and it's surprised. It's a critical hit. They are, they are surprised. She just crit. Surprise gives Amazing. you a crit automatically yes because she's an assassin is that just for assassins oh mm. yes it's just assassins. for an assassin and mm. she hit one and two so she she got a crit on both of them uh and let me roll that damage real quick let's see here this is my so, first time seeing an assassin in uh in action you roll a 20 on an attack mm. roll Magic yeah, yeah. Um, cool. I used the assassin subclass on one of my run throughs for Astarian in Baldur's Gate, and yeah, mm-hmm. it was fun. I'm doing. Uh, I just started my like dirge run, and Astarian. I'm having him as a thief, and mm. I thought that would be so boring. But the extra bonus action is yeah, really right. nice. I love it's it. It's nice. Mm-hmm. It's so much mm-hmm. better than the actual D and D rules. <laughs> What is yeah. the actual rule for a uh, thief? Like, what's their deal? They get like to climb well. 
Uh, yeah, I forget it's what the other thing. Great. It's not. They, and they it's get not they good. get fast mm-hmm. hands. Oh yeah. Um, Which what is fast hands? Because fast hands is the extra bonus action in Boulder's Gate. So what is it? Um, not that good. It's not that good. I mean that's Does for she... sure. Oh, she has forty six damage. Okay, cool. I was trying to find her sneak attack bonus there, and I couldn't. Oh, that's doubled as well. So she just unleashes 42 points of damage on the dire wolf. Okay. Nice. Um, Wow. As she skewers this thing, bringing it almost down to half health. Now let's do this again for her other guy. 30 points of damage on the other one. Okay. This guy is barely registered what happened and he's on a knee. Um, Sin. Uh, I'm gonna hex the bigger one. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna cast hex. Um, and then I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna make an attack with my longbow. Uh, how do I roll that? Actions, longbow, boop. That you could also use a... real dice if that's easier for you. I just don't have it pulled out right now. Um, mm-hmm. Let me just make sure that this is all correct. Um, okay, cool. Uh, 19 to hit. That hits. Okay, so that is going to... Oops, wrong button. Um, that is going to do 6 plus 5 for my hex. Um, let me see how often the hex does the damage. Um, until the spell ends, you deal it whenever you hit it with. Okay, so every time. Okay, but I don't think I have multi attack yet. So yeah, I do eleven. So eleven damage. damage? Yeah, perfect. A lot lower than forty. Um, (laughs) this is literally that was that is the like perfect moment for an assassin once they hit they like add from surprise it's a crit uh um, yeah on that s- is that's do your, i get a second do i get a second because you said uh if i'm surprising them do i get another hit or no because she got a nat 20 she because got she got hits. a nat 20 i let her okay. go twice that is my uh turn clover Okay, um, I'm not sure if this is going to be an action, but the first thing I want to do is do a quick glance um, situation assessment with regards to Ileana, the the pixie, uh, sorry, the will o' the wisp, um, the remaining alive owlbear and the dead owlbear. I want to get a quick glance assessment of how badly they're all hurt and the dead one how long it's been dead for basically if 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 this is a salvageable situation or not as you uh give me a perception check real quick and then a medicine check Mm -hmm. oh no perception that one do you still need the medicine um it just means you miss a small detail do the medicine check okay may i use the ladies room well before it's my next turn okay um, medicine 13 13 uh beef is dead dead like he's there are pieces of him missing they they ate him um it oh. looks like you can see it on them that he put up a fight but it also looks like they it didn't seem to do much they just okay. destroyed him he didn't even have a chance um yeah from the lack of other willow wisps, you get the feeling that they probably are gone as well. Um, you don't know where Eliana is because you missed it. Okay. Um, um and Owly. Owly has been hurt and is in the fetal position, covering her stomach. Okay. And I can't really tell how badly hurt she is. No. Um, okay, how far how far away would we be? Like we're at the edge of the clearing, right? At the edge of the grove. How far away? It, hang on a sec. I did something dumb. 
Oh, shit. They're werewolves. Okay, I'm not gonna damage immunities. Piercing, bludgeoning, and slashing from anything that is not uh, non-magical or that aren't silvered. Ooh. One second. Didn't somebody Wait. have something silvered? Some uh, Somebody has something silvered. We, there was a there was a thing like we got loot from the last thing where there was like a a, a potion or an oil or like a weapon coating that would turn that if you did it over silvered. one one weapon it would it would um make it silver for good uh and someone has silver daggers but uh her vicious bow is magic so it's okay i believe It still does the damage. And so does uh, Scarlet's, but that's... Yeah. Be wary. You're dealing with werewolves. And you guys know these kinds of things because it's a moon culture. You know about this stuff. I'm not going to make you roll for it. Um, Delphur should have a silver moon touch dagger. And... Um... That's what I can see for in terms of like silver. That's who's got something right now is Dafra. From, you... from the equipment. For some odd reason, I have a wand of magic missiles, which I, I will add, and, and a silver gl gl glaze vial. That silver glaze vial, if you put that on your weapon, it makes it makes it so that your we your weapon now does permanent silver damage as well. Um, but as long as you're magic weapons, you should be fine. Oh my Barbie. Okay. So how far are we at the edge of the clearing from Owly and everyone at the moment? You guys, if you look on the thing, I have you there. So oh, you're about okay. let me just sorry. I can Forgot can you that. can you use it? Because you weren't able to yeah. before. So you from Owly, you're about fifty feet. Shit. Okay. Um I'm going to oh shit where's that okay um i'm going to use my feline agility so um when i move on my turn in combat i can double my speed until the end of the turn but then i can't move until i've moved zero feet onto another turn or i can't use the trade again point being i double my speed to 60 feet i'm going to run to owly use my action to pump a second level cure wounds into her okay um, and my bonus action, I would like to summon a she spiritual She flinches at weapon. first, by the way, when you get up there. Oh. She pulls away from you. But oh. when you put your paw on her and you heal her, she remembers you. And and you just feel her shudder. Well, baby. Um, and then for my bonus action, I'm going to summon a spiritual weapon next to whichever of the two wolves looks most hurt right now. Uh, um, okay, so you're going to go for wolf number one. Okay, which... I would like to take a swipe at wolf number one. Go for it. Spiritual weapon, okay, plus six to hit. Oh, that's only an eight, never mind. Unfortunately, you miss, of course. Yeah. Yeah. But it's good. it's a good rally. And you feel, even though she, you're, she's so much bigger than you, you feel her cowering into you. Aww. Um. So, from the top of the round, we will go, and it is Roz's turn again. So she's going to take shot with her vicious longbow. She is, oh, I should have made her hide again. I'm dumb. Sorry, that's my bad. Uh, she didn't hide, so she's just regular. And then she's going to miss uh, because she nat won. Um, but I'm not going to be stupid this time. She's going to take a different, she's going to like move a little and duck down and hide. Technically, she could have hid before shooting. True. Technically, but she still would have gotten a nat one. Okay. So either she's she's nat one and and she's seen and it doesn't matter 
I'll I'll roll this. Okay, fine. Fuck it. It doesn't matter. I am making such an effort for our girl. I I'm, I'm trying so hard. She rolled a six. Uh, Wait, eh. hang on. That might hit. That might hit. That might hit. Give me a second. You know, because she has advantage when she's hiding. So, well, she mm. she got seen, but she does hit. Nope, she's off by one. My bad. I okay. tried, lady. I tried. I tried. We're gonna be going to bat. <laughs> Sorry, I was making um, a comment to to um, Mama Kelly's uh, significant partner um, mm-hmm. because. Mm-hmm. I did. Uh, because they uh they they made a really bad dad joke. <laughs> um, what is new? <laughs> oh. A werewolves anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, anemone is going to rage. Yeah, and uh, so that's, hot. She 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 is raging. Um, blissfully going to run as close as she can to this individual here, although that might take her entire action to go. Hold on. 45 feet? 30 feet? Okay, 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 yeah. She's just gonna run 1, 2, 30 feet. Once she gets there, she's going to look at the individuals there. Okay. Never used this before. <laughs> what the hell does she have this for? Um, okay, well, she's going to take out a, the wand of magic missiles. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> she's like, I have no idea. I don't know how this thing even is going to work. Um, <laughs> she's going to use it. If, point if that's shoot, okay. baby. <laughs> she's going to point. She's going to shoot. Um, so I just see her like <laughs> just does <laughs> this thing work? And as it's, you do that, Levio every saw. time you do that, a bolt comes like a, a, a magic <laughs> bolt comes out. Yeah. <laughs> does it make that noise of I like those chicks, you know, where you turn them upside down and they go, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Um so for douche, douche, douche. Um, I don't know how you want me to do this, but I know it's that's an a spot. auto hit, you just roll damage, right? Yeah. yeah. You cool. get how many do you get? Like, you oh, get D4? Like four four I have D4 seven. Like I have seven charges of this. But oh, I can no. Hang on, let me just look up magic missile real quick. Dude, I just killed get... In Baldur's Gate 3, a dragon with a sixth level magic missile. <laughs> yeah. I, you know what? I got sick of missing. Up, like, I was on. sick of yeah. missing. I'm mi- okay, so making their same all the time. You have three of them. Yeah. So get three D4s, roll that, and they're all plus one. Okay, so that's two plus one. Another two plus one. So three. <laughs> all of them are threes. So three, hey. six, nine, nine points. Nine plus one? No, no. The first altogether. one. Okay, yeah, all together. together, yeah. All together. Is okay, nine. so you hit him for nine points of damage. Uh, and he looks a little stunned that that's what came out of you. Like, just like, <laughs> I you thought see I was going to get my face smashed. <laughs> um, but, like, you also see him, like, uh, 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 like really dramatically. His <laughs> blood starts gushing out of these, like, wounds. Cappy. Mm-hmm. Um, I am going to come out of the tree line a little bit just to kind of um get a clear um picture at them. And mm-hmm. I am going to twin spell cast Tasha's Ooh. mind whip on both of them. Ooh, nice. All right. So it's an throw? In- yeah, it's an intelligence saving throw. Intelligence saving throws. Okay. Uh six. So the dire wolf is no not did not pass that, and okay. the werewolf. Let's see here, is a five. All right. So they are each of them are going to take eleven damage, psychic damage. Oh my god. The um, werewolf. Uh, the first wolf is just like he's barely like he's taken a knee and he's like why my hand and <laughs> <laughs> like just not doing well 11 for this guy all right um, our wolf is still chunky though he's he's still there so okay so question because this is going to count towards my wild magic thing even though i didn't roll for it 
based on your house rule. Mm. Does twin spelling count as two spells or just one? Do you want it to count as two spells? I do because I have not had a surge yet. Then it does. Okay. Oh. So I'm very close. Okay. <laughs> uh we got yeah like you're you're all you're so close we're gonna maybe we should like lower the number we'll talk about it we'll talk about it yeah um all right so yeah i'm going to um to uh yeah jump out of the tree line um you know two rainbow whips at the uh the two werewolves and then um that is my turn the one that's not understanding why his head hurt his gut he's got on a knee he's just drooling and he's looking at you he's like but bunny stays good um (laughs) delphra okay so um looking at the map here the big green thing is that a thing can i see that was yes you can see over that that was a um a plinth that was where you, originally you met uh, Ileana. She was dancing around it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm Which going you to... do notice now that there is just a wing, a little fairy wing on it, and nothing more. Oh. Rude. There is a fucking werewolf coven, and we need to. So Delva's pissed, it. and she's going to cast. Scorching Ray. Um, and one beam hitting at the uh werewolf and the other two at the werewolf. Dire. The dire one. The dire wolf. Yeah. Yep. Do for it. Go do go do do stuff. Do the stuff. Go do the go do the things. I do all the things. Uh so the one that's hitting the uh now I'm confused. The werewolf is the one that's basically on one knee. Yeah, they're both werewolves. One of them is just one hulking mass of a dire werewolf. Okay, so the one that's on one knee, the werewolf. Werewolf Werewolf one. Uh, 17 to hit. Oh yeah, you hit him. And then the other ones is 24 and 23. Yeah, you hit both. They look very shocked. Uh, so the werewolf is getting six. Okay. You know, <laughs> as you hit this thing, it's reaching out for Cappy like, bunny is good eat. And you disintegrate it. I love how stupid werewolves are. <laughs> it is dead. Uh, oh. Mm-hmm. Math hard. What do you what do you need? Six, six, four, and two. Twenty-two? No. No. Twenty-nine? Twenty. Oh. Six, six, four, six, and six, two. Four, two. Twenty-eight, right? No, eighteen. Six, I'm 12, sorry. 12, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, yeah. 18. 18. Math yeah. hard. We Math all hard. fucked that one up. I had eleven <laughs> on my calculator and just left it there. 18 <laughs> points of damage yeah perfect it's he's looking rough like you burnt like half his shoulder off is um Quartzly getting a turn yes Quartzly is getting a turn he's just gonna he's right cast, after you uh he's just gonna cast flame seed okay i imagine when he when he 12. does it he just goes <laughs> 12 to yeah. hit yeah, it does not. No, okay. I tried. Swipes it quartzly. Uh, next is Sin. Sin, uh, big boy still up, right? Yep, but barely. Okay. okay, that's who my hex is on. So I'm going to draw my longbow again. It shines with lunar radiance and like a pure moon white arrow, like forms in her hand as she draws and releases when you when you do that you hear this growl come from him like drool coming out of his mouth he goes false moon child and what did you get i got 14 
you hit. <gasps> it was almost a nat 20, but the dice like oh, cocked and I was no. like, eh. So that is going to be, um, let me see what I get with the hex. Uh, so 12 plus four, uh, oops, uh, four, what kind of necrotic damage? Six magical piercing, or sorry, 12 mag magical piercing and four necrotic. You pull back your bow. This magical moonlight arrow lights up the sky, shimmers, and he looks at you and he goes, false moon child, just rule in blood coming from his mouth. And as he goes to close his mouth, you unleash that shot and skewer him right through the back of the throat and he chokes on his old blood. And I dies. feel like when the arrow hits and kind of sits there, it kind of just slowly disintegrates into moon yeah. dust. It takes a minute so that he struggles. Yeah, and just lowers. Is that is that everybody? You are out of combat. Sisters? You hear... Okay. She's shivering. Does anyone speak with animals? I... No, uh, I used to. Speak with animals. You can speak with animals? Yeah. I have to cast a spell, but yeah. It's up to you. She's, I'm doing it. As as you walk over, she's all she's huddled in on herself and shivering and scared and almost flinching anytime someone moves any close to her. What what do you what do you say, Delphra? What do you do? Um, I'm just gonna go up wow i'm gonna choke on my own saliva first and then i'm gonna talk fair fair um i'm just gonna go like i'm gonna go slowly up to her um and just kind of like almost crawl kind of like getting on her level not caring how dirty i'm getting and just mm -hmm. lay down on my side beside her going like it's okay now you hear you hear soft little hoots like as crying and she nuzzles her head into you and you see like actual tears Delpha just kind of like grabs her and like cuddles into her and like Quartzly just comes around and cuddles on the other side and she's shivering she's shivering and you notice the moment that is um the moment Quartzly goes to cuddle around her belly area she swats at him Check the belly. And then I'm not gonna she growls. check the belly. Can I uh can I roll perception? It hasn't or do I already long. know? Well you could ask her. Are you pregnant? Yes. With beef's children, and now he's gone. Delver produces flame and just hits the corpse of the werewolf one time out of frustration. The little red will-o'-the-wisp has come out. It's shaking and it's decided that it's hiding itself in uh, Rosalind's hair. At this moment... Lady Orion comes back in from the side that she left. We'll say uh, uh, Commander went left. She went right. She comes back in from the right side. Uh, her hair is a little out of place. And her pegasus is no, is no more. She's walking. Oh, damn. Werewolf, <laughs> sister. Yes. Well. Seems that they they've were. taken over the tree of Luna Delights. And it seems like we have to pay them a visit. Do we do it naked? After. Okay. We don't want uh, to give the werewolves such a gift. 
exactly i don't know maybe they'll die after give them one last hope and that's when you hear commander diana coming in she's like wiping her sword off on her on her outfit all the blood away well what the fuck do you have something to report i killed werewolves excellent so have we good job there cub Walk ahead, champ. She's like, <laughs> she's, she's, I don't know how you, she, I know you she have the hots what, for her, but she's like really like, uh, no, what she says, walk she's ahead, a champ. Bitch. Would, would you like a healing word first? A good berry? I'm sure we could find one for you. Why don't we take a rest here and uh, give me an insight check? Mm hmm. Did you want that from everybody or just from 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 whoever more? wants to make it? Nat 20. 21. Like, oh, Nat 20. Mm -hmm. As she's taking off her shield to sit down for a moment, you see that there's a little bit of blood coming out, like trickling out from under a boot. <sighs> Clover. I think our escort might need your help. Of, of course. Um, I'm going to go over to Commander Diana and say, is it okay if I touch you to heal you? Yes. Um, I just kind of put a paw on her hand, I guess. she She's sitting on the ground, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'll just put a pour on her hand and cast a first level. That's all I've got left. First level um, cure wounds. She, you get a little scritch on the head. And she pulls I'll... out a scroll of, um, what's the curse scroll? The remove curse. Yeah. And casts it on herself because she oh. got bitten by a werewolf. <laughs> Oh, bad. Mm. Um, and then, as you maybe guys are kind of just, are you okay? Oh yes. No injuries. No. I have I a just... wonderful spell that just scatters people in all directions. Oh, that sounds great! You should tell me. Is that it sometime. called Flash? No, that would bring people to you. Um, and well, you see her go and just demurely sit, kneel down and sit, take out something to drink. And she begins to start making herself tea. Um, oh, I guess we're resting then. Okay. They, just they're they looking at like, I, you guys, you guys are probably going to need a rest before you deal with whatever is next. Um, that's the DM talking to you. Yeah, that's A fair. long rest or a short rest? Um... I'm going to give you a long rest. You guys are going to oh. like, Oof. Fuck just, me. just in case, just in case. Wow. Uh, Would it be possible while we're in this moment, Anemone's taking the carcasses of the werewolves and she's going to do something to them. Yep. You Burn can do whatever that. you like. Oh, <laughs> um, I want to look she's, around she's and do something. see if I can see any sign of uh, anybody else, any of the will-o'-wisps or the, uh, Ileana or anybody that wasn't here? Uh, there's a wing. There's Ileana's wing on the pedestal. Mm -hmm. The other Will-O-Wisps are gone. And Beef is no more. Can I look for the other Will-O-Wisps to see maybe they're hiding? You could give me a perception check. I got a 19. Are we in a long Willow enough rest? Willow-wisps can be, can be killed. So. 
are we in a long enough rest that I can send Quartzly back with her to the monastery or whatever we want to call it for safekeeping until she gives birth and then disappear? Um, If you want to, but that's going to be a while. You won't have Quartzly for a very long time. Then never mind. She's literally like, it's been like maybe a week. She knows she's pregnant, but you wouldn't even be able to tell yet. I think it would be better to find her a safe nesting place that would make her comfortable here in her home away from werewolves. Do we know anything about werewolves? Is it uncommon? Is this like a, something to be concerned about for werewolves to be in this uh Territory. I have a history check uh, for sufficiency and history if that helps. Go do a history check. Um, as you guys are sitting uh, Commander Diana makes a bit of a fire going. Um, yes. Just, I just wanted to say one thing quickly to her just after I heal her. Um, Commander Diana, I'm just going to quietly whisper to her we're not so bad, you know. They just kind of give her a little pat. She kneels down towards you and goes, I'm aware. And then out of her bag, she pulls out this tiny little cupcake. And she says, happy birthday, Clover. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> happy birthday, Clover. Can cats cry? Because I think if Clover can cry, she's got <laughs> you a can cry. Of tears going. <laughs> I think she's just got a couple of tears. And, and you she, notice, she sort of... just smell the cupcake, and it smells like tuna. <laughs> oh, that is definitely just for Clover. That is just for Clover, <laughs> but she does take out others that she puts out on a plate. Aww. Before sitting a, back a and just elevating on her, her hand. Leg. History, history track was 19. Your history track is 19. So you want to know about werewolves. It is not... um, Wolves are pack animals. The werewolves that you've had here normally aren't. Because they end up either killing themselves, like, and fighting for dominance, or it's just, it's just never really... They've never really been organized. And the ones that you were just dealing with seemed like they had a goal. Right. They wanted to bring food back for the pack so that they could eradicate the false moon ch- children. Yeah, he called me false moon. Very interesting. And that's not normal. Like, we don't know that, hey, werewolves have a different moon worship. This is, like, mm-hmm. weird. No. Yeah, this is weird the way that they're acting right now. Like, there's I mean, a it's an affliction, happening. but it's never been organized like this uh question in this world can uh werewolves be born as werewolves or is it always a bite that like converts humanoids into werewolves okay so you're not born a werewolf so this is a collective of afflicted people um okay well at least that's the way it seems none of you were able to make them change back so out of curiosity, while this is happening, mm-hmm. um, would we have during this long rest time for Anemone to do a ritual? Yeah. Okay. As she's putting pulling apart these werewolves because she is going to pull them apart, literally with her bare hands, um, in the ways of her people, and she's going to arrange their intestines into a circle. Whoa. If that's okay, you can do that. No cool. one is stopping you. Cool, cool. In cool. fact, you have metal, you have this. Lady Orion just kind of like off to the side watching you. She's stood up drinking tea and just like, okay. <laughs> and then she's gonna once she finishes that, she's going to uh, look to Lady Diana respectfully. Can you get me a torch? I'll and let she up. sighs and she stands up. She lights a torch and hands it over to you. 
Cool. She takes the torch. She lays it so that the torch is over each of their bodies and like the, you know, when the long hand is pointing directly at um, both the long hand and the short hand are pointing directly to midnight. Mm -hmm. So she's going to point it this way and she's going to speak in primordial and she's going to call on Aedoth. Okay. The judge of the moon and stars. Who's Aedoth? <gasps> That's her one part of her tribe's gods. Mm -hmm. And what do you ask for him to do? To take these bodies that are, have obviously been cursed and make them suffer <laughs> eternally. The they, eternally, the way they made the sow bear suffer. The bodies or the souls or both. The, the the bodies obviously that have been cursed the souls to be judged appropriately as you make that pair that prayer uh you see captain diana kind of reach into a bag and then put toss a bit of black powder over their bodies and they just light up in flames and uh, roll me a religion check to see if your prayer was heard. This is obviously is a god. watching reverently. This is obviously a god that um that uh anemone doesn't usually pray to. She mm -hmm. rolled a ten plus one. Eleven. She an eleven. Yeah. You think, even though you're very far away, mm -hmm. maybe you might have been heard. She'll nod, toward, she'll nod towards Lady Diana. It is done. And then she's going to look at her hands. She's going to look at the blood and he goes, Hey, Clover. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do, you, or Kathy. do you want to me? Yeah. Do, do, oh, you, do want... you have cleaving oh, yeah. spells? Yeah. Yeah. yeah press 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 I, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Clover goes up and actually starts just licking her hands. Oh. No, well, no, I have, no, I have pressed no, the digitation, no. so I'll. No, no, no licking oh. the hands. Oh, okay. You press to digitize her clean. Uh, everybody's kind of cleaning their own weapons and stuff and cleaning up. Uh, you guys will rest here for the night. Um, is there anything that you want to do as we end the session? Anyone you want to talk to? Um, so, uh, Lady Orion um, and, and Commander Diana, how many werewolves did you see? Hmm. At least a dozen on my side. They're no more. And uh, Diana kind of nods. About the same. Do you think they're all gone or are there more coming? Tough to say. If they all seem to be heading in the same direction, which is the tree. They're organizing. Could this have anything to do with the upcoming eclipse? They both kind of look lost. I'll, I'll shrug, maybe. I mean, you know as much as we do right now. They called us false moonlings. Orion, do you know of any other sects of the moon that might consider our worship blasphemous if they do why not vampires do we know about why any vampires as such uh you they they're rare but um you have heard reports of them be of like people being drained of blood lately Are you only saying, in the last few days? Are you saying that vampires and werewolves are working together? No, I said no th such thing. You said that. I'm just trying to understand why. You werewolves... asked. You asked. Why are you, are there other sects that worship the moon? Well, vampires werewolves other things that go bump in the night hmm. why does that make us false moonlings though even if we don't 
They didn't say you were in a false the moonling. Way. They said they moon's did, didn't shadow. They? Oh, I thought they but were. They, they I said, thought it was the collective we. They said Scarlet was, didn't they? I mean, not Scarlet. Sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry. They did say oh. Scarlet was. Oh, are we assuming that it was me specifically and it wasn't the group? They said Moon's Shadow. They were uh, they were going to destroy Moon's Shadow because the false moon children taste best. So false moon children, I thought, meant us. You can take that however you like. Well, I took it one way, and now I'm starting to think that I should take it another way, because now I'm confused. Sin, are you from Moon's Shadow or something like that? Isn't there? Oh, wait. <laughs> Did, yeah, he, Daniel is cackling. Just FYI, <laughs> Daniel is cackling I that you, you just speaking, figured it out. I thought you were speaking in rhyme. I didn't. Sorry. As, I guess, you know what? I'm going to say that Sin didn't really... When you say, isn't your village name Moon's Shadow, her uh, face, her pale-ass face is going to go even paler. Oh, dear. Delphi's just going to kind of, like, take stock and go, um, maybe we should go to your village. Unless Hi. you hate everyone there and want to no. watch it burn. No, I need to check on my mom and dad. Okay, suggest, let's go. I suggest resting. Getting your strength. And before we swing back to your family, we should probably check out the tree. If that's where they're all meeting, that's probably where we'll find a lot of them. Out of curiosity and respectfully, uh, do you know of any reports of a war between the things that go bump in the night? No. Insight check. Roll one. Okay. And that was to Lady Diana. Mm hmm Yeah. Is, is this like vampires versus werewolves, mortal enemies? 17. She seems like she's being truthful. She's giving you her best advice as, as a commander. Okay. I think that we should rest. I think we should make sure that we have enough strength to fight them and go we with the information that we have, head them off. That uh, is the way okay. she's thinking. Um, and then is going to take enough? out... Oops, sorry. Hmm? Are we strong we enough to take on at least 24 werewolves? We That's can a do lot. It. We don't have to rush in and fight them like an army. We can scope the place out, do some reconnaissance, make a plan. Plus, if, if they're going to Moon's yeah. Shadow, we'll have help. But we at least have to warn them. I can, and this is Lady uh, Orion, I can be gone and back in an hour. The moon's shadow? Yes. Tell my parents what happened here. Tell them we're coming. Tell them write I them, am coming. Write them a note, Doc. All right. Uh, she's like she's looking at you and like there's a lot you want to say you write them a note um werewolves are coming board the windows i'll be there as fast as my feet can carry sin or a roar there's sin and then it's scratched out a roar a roar <laughs> she takes it from you and she makes her pegasus again and gets on top of it and it takes to the sky and she disappears. Uh, lady, or lady, uh, Commander Diana looks at you all and says, eat your cupcakes, rest, I'll watch over you. Sounds good. And uh, you see her, as you guys are like settling down, you see her uh, head over to 
Owly and crouch down and pet her head and feed her part of her rations. Um, and then she kind of almost crouched down and whispered something to Owly. And that's you want do you want to try and hear? Do I hear <laughs> considering I'm still cuddling with Owly? Yeah, you make me a perception check. Never dirty mind. 20. Ten. A dirty 20. You hear her say to the west is to the west there's a safe space with a nice cave and a, by a stream with lots of fish. She's just giving her a place to feel safe. And oh, uh Commander and Diana she, is growing on me. <laughs> And then she stands up and kind of just crosses her arms and walks around, making sure that you guys are okay while you sleep. And uh, the last thing that you you feel, Cappy, is a little tiny bit of frost, a little kiss on your nose. Um, can I ask you something? Do you want me to call you daddy dragon or do you have another name <laughs> you call me daddy december do you but is that really your name you can call me sweetie 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 sweet sweet sweetie god damn these hells <laughs> you're let's see your god damn these hells sweetie <laughs> God damn these elves. Fleety. These elves. He's yeah. trying so hard Fleety? to say fleety. Fleety. Oh, okay. I thought it said like, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> you could call me sweetie too. All right, fleety. Um, well, good night. Good night. You can... <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> and it... In the, he cuddles right under your chin. Okay, that's so cute. But when you're trying to sleep, that's also super annoying. Don't worry, I'll keep you safe. Okay. My God. Okay. Okay. And that's the end of the session. Considering Yay. that, like, he goes invisible and runs away every time he gets scared, I highly doubt he's going to keep Cappy safe. Who can say? <laughs> Just say. Who can say? Me. That is a astute assumption. That is a very wise assumption, Delphine. <laughs> I don't trust the freaking dragon. I don't either, <laughs> but it's cute. It's moral support. Okay, well, I'm sorry that you don't trust me. My name is I See Stars, and I has been your sedan against Harvard. <laughs> And uh, I tried to do my best, but they don't like me no more, okay? So, uh, Clover, could you go? Uh, I'm Clover, and uh, <laughs> I'm in and out spice most places. I play Alien on the first Saturday of the month, and it's really scary. So come and join us on Shadow Tabletop Games on Sundays, on the first Sunday of the month, because we're scared. Uh, it's very uh, okay. scary. It, yeah. Star? <laughs> um, I can't follow this very well, but I've been Star, and I am playing Cappy, and I have a podcast. It's very good, and you should listen to it. Yeah. It's called Characters Without Stories. It's very good. And yeah, I have a new episode. It's about the Wild Sea. <laughs> I yeah. will pass it to N. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Tiana Revan, and you can call me N. I play Anemone, who is a big Amazon woman who kicks ass and 
does weird rituals with blood um, uh, on the show, The Indian Isle. Uh, Moonstone Matriarchy, where we are sapphic warrior women of amazingness. And then I also play Tuesdays sometimes, and soon Fridays sometimes, and maybe Wednesdays. Okay. Soon. Yeah. Yeah. Take it away, Scarlet. Okay, Hello. Scarlet. Hello. <laughs> My name is Scarlet. I am the mother of dessert dragons. If you want to adopt a very cute dessert dragon, you can find them on my Etsy shop. Uh, but if you want me to torture players, uh, you can watch me do that on Sundays where I've been dragging their asses through the Underdark and making them face demon lords. One of my players is a demon lord's son and I'm corrupting his sweet, sweet, innocent little brain. And it's going to be great because all the players are turning against each other and it's all my conniving magical fault. Um, yes. <laughs> Uh, ta-da! Delpha, we just saw it. Hi, time. I'm Delpha. I'm <laughs> Philippe. Uh, I'm gonna go piss myself now. Uh, have a good night. No, <laughs> it was yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> 